Hey, for the BAT crowd, it's Mature Muscle again, and wanted to bring you this 1965 Mustang Fastback. Um, like we always do, we're gonna walk around with it open, let you get a good chance to see it. It's actually gonna come out on film in multiple colors. So it looks blue up against the lake that you're gonna see in some of our still photos. It's obviously charcoal with black stripes. And it's gonna look a little bit darker at night. And then it's got a blue-gray cast to it in this lighting. It should come out fairly charcoal on this camera. And that's what I would say it is. Gunmetal gray, black stripes. Every single thing about this thing is cool. Runs and drives exactly how you want a toy car to drive. Sounds phenomenal. Obviously, there'll be lots of photos like we always do. The undercarriage on the car, definitely local car show level. Engine bay, local car show level. Paint, local car show level. But more important, how it runs, drives, and sounds, you're gonna be super impressed with. It has Everything that we could possibly do to catch it up. It does have brand new tires all the way around. We haven't even had a chance to take it in and get all the front end alignment and everything done because we actually hate leaving them without a shop at all. We actually babysit the cars when they're there. So we have an appointment on Monday to get that done. So today you guys are gonna get the walk around. And Monday, after we get all the wheels and tires balanced, and front end alignment done, we're gonna take it out for a spin. Obviously it has a fold down rear seat. While it's in the open configuration, we're gonna show you guys that. And then when we close it up like we always do and do a second walk around, we'll have the seats in the upright position. Um, I don't know if the seats in the back have ever even been sat in, in this car. As you can see, it does have aftermarket gauges so that you can closely monitor her the way she should be monitored. It obviously has an aftermarket tag. I think it was done super tasteful. If you notice, all of the bright work all the way around is outstanding on the car. This is, in our opinion, an eight and a half, and that takes us right at local car show level or above. The way it actually runs and drives possibly above that. We're gonna give you guys a good look at the rear window and we were just torn on replacing it or not. We tried to get a hold of a couple places in town that polish glass. So we just didn't want anybody tearing the chrome off this car and replacing that glass. So we're gonna give you guys a good look at that. We actually looked it up there, $331. It wasn't about the money. It's about getting somebody near this paint and then making a mistake. Obviously the engine bay, definitely local car show level or above. If you notice all of the paint underneath the hood, all the bracketing, everything's just solid, local, showdown toy car. It has a super, super aggressive look. It's a lot of looks on the street. Sounds phenomenal. One thing you guys are gonna notice is the headers kind of came out a blue color on film. They're obviously not blue. It's a cast aluminum look. This side over here, you'll see there's a little bit more lighting on it so you can see kind of a true image of what they really are. But when I looked back through the video last night and all of the paint work that we did as far as taking pictures in different lightings of different paint so you guys can see that it looks charcoal in some lighting looks blue gray in other lighting so don't be mistaken by all the different colors that you see on film it's not a lighting thing this thing just shows chameleon colors it's a super cool paint the rear view mirror we ordered in and it was the wrong one so we have the current one on we have a brand new one coming so that will be replaced.
because it's below the level of the car for sure. It's got marks on it. And there should be about 150 to 200 pictures in the gallery. Um, where we are right now today at about 6 p.m. doing the walk around is where you're gonna see all of the really super cool pictures that I got right before dark. And believe it or not, right behind me here is where all the blue lighting was. So when you see these blue lights coming across the car at night, that was a reflection off of this building right here. So it came out really cool. Also, I wanted to point out in the front, we ordered the brand new kit um, that's gonna have your carry-on bag for like all of your accessories when you go to the show. You guys have all seen them. And it'll have the brand new mat. They sent us the wrong one. But obviously this way you guys got a really good chance to look and see what you got all the way around. And then here I'm gonna close this up so you guys can see this glass and this lighting. I'm sure there's some people in the BAT gallery that may know a little bit more about the polishing and what can be done but well, we just wanted to make sure that you guys can see this we have not made a hard line decision on this we are calling another classic car company that does glass and we just want to know that they've got somebody that can really take care of the car when they do it so we're really caught on that so right now this is the way the car is going to go we'll update the auction if we've done anything different than that and maybe somebody out there that's gonna end up with this car knows a little bit more about who they could trust to replace that glass. So hey, with all that being said, we're gonna put the seats in the upright position so you guys can see the back seats, and then we're gonna walk around with it closed up. And like I said, we're not even gonna drive this car out on the highway speeds at 75 and 80 until we get it into the shop. It drove fine over here at 3540 just knowing that we just had all the the uh, undercarriage suspension and everything pulled down so that we can clean it like we always do we just want to make sure that it has no wobbling no shaking and that way we take you guys for a ride and then 75 and 80 you can see exactly what we can do where we can let go of the steering wheel etc so bear with us while we close it back up we'll be right back with you we'll walk around about five minutes from now <laughs> 